Mark Leishman is in his rookie year on the PGA Tour in the US and what a year it has been for Mark, particularly the events over the last few weeks. I've managed to catch up with Mark. Mark, welcome. Yeah, thank you. I must say it's been a bit of a whirlwind ride the last uh, three weeks. You've managed to get yourself well positioned in the FedEx Cup Series. You now will head to the final season ender inside the top 30. Do you ever think it would eventuate like this in your rookie year? I mean, at the start of the year, you, you know, you set your goals pretty high and, you know, you hope to get there, but I guess deep down on you it was always going to be fairly tough, you know, to make it to the Tour Championship, you know, the top 30 on the Tour for that year. So, But, you know, to do it's just unbelievable and... Um, you know, hopefully I can make the most of it next week. The Deutsche Bank Championship in Boston, you finished there with a tied 15th. How did you rebound back from the result that you had the week before in the Barclays? I, I missed the cut at the Barclays, but I didn't play as bad as what the score probably said. It was, you know, it wasn't like I was walking away from that tournament thinking to myself, I've got to rebuild my swing or what, what can I do? You know, I, I walked away thinking, well, you know, I've played all right. I just haven't scored as well as I would have liked. I knew it was really close. So, and, you know, golf's a game like that, that, you know, things don't go well every week. Um, you know, you've got to learn to get over things fairly quickly, you know. I tried to get, I was up well and truly over that by the time I got to the Deutsche Bank in Boston. Well, certainly last week was a good week for you at the BMW Championships in Chicago. Not only did you manage to bank a, a rather large check, but it's opened up a whole new world for you, hasn't it, with uh, starts now in the US Open, the British Open, and also the US Masters. Yeah, it has. I mean... It, I, you know, it's hard to describe how it feels, actually. It still doesn't quite feel real. It's, um, you know, knowing I'm going to be in Augusta next year for the Masters playing is just unbelievable, you know. It's something you, you know, you dream of as a kid and even as a golf pro, you know, you're still dreaming and it's hard to believe that you'll ever get there. You know, to be playing the, the, three, the first three majors and, yeah, like you say, it's opened a lot of doors, you know, for everything, really, you know, for, for sponsors, for myself, for, you know, just really kick-started my career, really. Now, your pathway onto the main tour, you've done the hard yards, you've done the Monday qualifiers, you've played some of the pay-to-play tours very early on in your career when you turned professional in August 2005. When you look back over the last few years, has it been as easy as what you thought it would be? Definitely not. No, I wouldn't say it's been easy at all. I mean, from the outside looking in, it might look easy, easier than what it is, but, you know, a lot of people don't really see the work that goes in. It's, you know, it's been, um, it's been a pretty quick progression, I'd say, you know, we've we set the goals to, to get there as soon as possible, and, and we have, I guess, you know, to the, to the main tour. But, you know, to be into the majors next year, probably on track, I'd say, to what the goals were, but, you know, I did set the goals pretty high. So I guess um, if, if you had said to me that you could be in the majors in 2011 for the first time, I would have definitely taken it, you know. Well, next year is just going to be awesome to do it, you know, a year earlier, a year earlier than what I thought. You've tasted victory early in your career as well. You won the 2007 Toyota Southern Classic on the Von Nida Tour back in Australia. You also won last year at the Nationwide Tour with the WNB Golf Classic. The way you're playing now compared to how you were playing when you were winning those events in your formative years, how different of a player are you? Well, I think this de- my game's developing. It's not like I'm a completely different player. You know, I'm still hitting the ball. It's probably, uh, I'm hitting it straighter, hole in a few more putts, but it's not night and day to what I was. You know, when I when I was winning the Von Nider events and the Korean events and all that, it's just I'm just playing well more often. Like it's you know, once you get out out of your comfort zone a little bit, it's hard it's harder to play well than what it is when you're feeling really comfortable. You know, whether it be in a Von Nider event or a Korean tour event or whatever it is, but it's um, it's definitely a lot harder to play at your best when you, when you're out of your comfort zone. So I'm st- slowly starting to feel comfortable on the tour, and um, you know, the results are starting to come. Now, what's the feeling like now? You've got one more event left in the US here, the Tour Championship. So much has changed for you in a space of such a short period of time. You, you must be floating on cloud nine. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's awesome. You know, it's just hard to believe that I'm going to be there with you know, the top 30 guys on the Tour. and Yeah, it's just it's amazing. You know, I think the biggest thing is you know, the Masters next year that's hard to sink in. But yeah, I mean, it's going to be great. Hopefully I can uh, play well next week in Atlanta and, um, you know, get into the, uh, get, move the world ranking up a bit and get into a few of them bigger events next year. I think I'm into a couple of them already, into the World Golf Championship events, but it'd be great to, you know, move the world ranking up even more and get into those, you know, on the world ranking. Well, Mark, we, we also hope to be seeing you uh, back in Australia when we get back down there towards the end of the year. Uh, what's currently got scheduled with regards to the Australian Tour events? I think I'll be playing all three at this stage. So I was planning to only play two, but now that things are going a little bit better for the year, uh, I'll probably get back to 
the week of the Masters, so I'll probably play that and then play the Open and the PGA. So, yeah, looking forward to spending a bit of time at home. Well, Mark, it's going to be a, an interesting few weeks for you here in the US. We wish you the best at East Lake and Atlanta when you head there for the Tour End Season Championship. Best of luck, and we'll hope to be talking to you soon. No worries. Thanks a lot.